Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday. Thanks for joining me for my Try It Out Tuesday. Today we are using a die set. This is from Elizabeth Crafts Designs and I loved the little monkey. Oh my goodness, when I saw him I had to have him. In fact, um, he has some brothers and sisters. So I went and I picked up the little parrot too. I wanted to go crazy but I thought two was enough. Um, the parrot, I thought it would create a fun little birthday card. Um, isn't he cute? Love the little wonky eyes. <laughs> and um, the monkey was stole my heart. I thought it would be a perfect little Valentine's Day card. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make two cards um, for Valentine's Day. And so we're just going to do some die cutting. I have some card stock here. I have some dark brown, some craft, and then some yellow. And then I was basically using the very front of the package as a guide on what to use to die cut out each one of my little elements. Um, and of course yellow was for the bananas. But I'm going to die cut out two of each. I don't know if you caught it, but on the very front of the package, you had one mon monkey sitting down. Oh, here we go. And then the other one was like hanging. And I thought it'd be fun to create both of those. So that's what we're going to do today um, with with both of my cards. Okay, that cardstock we're going to use in a little bit. Um, I thought we needed to do a little bit of shading to give our, our die cut pieces a little bit of definition. So I'm going to break out my Vintage Photo Distress Oxide ink and then just using a fin finger dauber, I'm going to go over all of the craft card um, stock pieces and then also all of the yellow bananas. I don't have to do it to my dark brown. I think it was too brown. If you want to use like a walnut stain distress ink, I think that would work. But um, I think just the vintage photo over the yellow and the craft cardstock pieces worked out perfect. So they're all ready to go. And now we get to assemble our little monkeys. Our, and you're going to fall in love with them. <laughs> I, if I could have a monkey over here, I could. If my husband wouldn't kill me. <laughs> or if it wasn't against the law. But <laughs> they are so sweet. It just, just makes me smile. Okay, um, the little facial features that I'm he adhering right now have um, embossed detail. Um, it's very faint, but it's there. Um, it's There's um, embossed detail on the eyes and on his little half smile. And then also over the bridge of his nose and his nose have embossed detail. But I wanted to add dimension, so I did pop up my facial features with some foam uh, squares. Then I used some smaller ones and we're going to go ahead and add the ear pieces. And I need to trim off this little foam square so my earpiece fits without you seeing that. <laughs> and I'm just lining them up. Um, the facial, um, the dark brown face part does have embossed detail too. So you know where to line them up at. So sweet. Okay, after we, I was trying to show you the embossed detail of the eyes, but it just didn't happen. <laughs> but I'm going to use my jelly roll pan. It's a black jelly roll pan, and I'm going to fill in those eyes. Um, there is a die that will die cut out, the same die that die cuts out those ears will die cut out the itty bitty eyes. Um, if you wanted to glue them on your monkey. Um, I thought it was just as nice just to fill in those with a black gel pen. So that's what I'm doing. And then I'm filling in his little smile. I love half smiles. I think they're just little cuties. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to rosy up his cheeks. I'm using a RV10 um, marker. It's a very light pink and it looks like a mess right now, but um, the Copic markers have alcohol in them and so the alcohol will dry and it'll just leave that pink pigment on the craft card stock. The same with my E00 marker here. I'm just adding a very touch over the bridge of his nose and the nose just for a little added dimension. But it will, um, his cheeks will still fade back a lot. <laughs> now we're going to adhere his, their, his body, both of their bodies. Um, well actually we're, we'll do one at a time. <laughs> we're going to adhere this right below his chin and then we're going to add his little legs. So cute. The nice thing about this little guy is he could be standing, he could be sitting, he could be doing a a kick. He could <laughs> you could have him any position you want, and that's what makes him fun. I'm gonna go ahead and add his tail. His tail's gonna go right behind him, and then um, we're gonna go ahead and add a foam square to his belly, and then add his craft belly over the top there, and then his feet. We'll add some small foam adhesive squares 
and then um, we'll add his craft colored feet to each one. So cute. <laughs> okay, I think he's coming along. Now we're going to take um, foam square or these foam squares and I'm going to tuck one to the left of his belly and one to the right. Um, so half of that foam square is um, peeking out. That's That way I can ad adhere my, um, my monkey's arms too. Um, the arms are separate from the hands. So we're going to go ahead and glue our hands to our arms. We want to make sure I want to get a left and a right. Um, we don't want two left-handed monkeys. <laughs> um, I think that would look a little funny. <laughs> We're going to add some glue to the hands and then we are going to add the arms. And then I am so sorry about my phone. I had to pause and grab that. That was the hubby. <laughs> but there's the little arms. Now all I have to do is tack them to those um, foam squares that are sticking out and they tack beautifully. And that's our little guy. Isn't he so sweet? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I thought, you know, while we're at it, let's let's put a little banana in his hand. Um, I'm just going to use the foam square to adhere that. We're going to tuck it underneath his foot and his, his hand. Okay, we're going to flip him over, add foam adhesive behind him. This way, when we build our card background, he's all ready to go. And now we can work on our next little guy. Okay. This little guy, when we put him together, he's going to look very funny, but the outcome turns out very cute. <laughs> I'm going to add a dot of glue on top of the belly, and then I'm going to flip his head upside down and add his body behind his head there. Then, of course, we're going to add his legs, add some dots of glue, and then um, place his legs behind his body. Once they're adhered, he looks very funny. <laughs> <laughs> but bear with me. Now for his tail, the tail it, we're going to add to the very top of his body. We don't have to tuck it behind because um, the tail is technically um, there, not behind. Okay, behind the behind. <laughs> now we're going to add his feet, just using some foam adhesive. And you know, if you guys don't want to use foam adhesive to give um, your little guy dimension, I think he would look just as cute without it. But I went ahead and add his hands and his arms. This time we're tucking them underneath his chin. That one was giving me a little problem. I didn't want to stick. <laughs> but um, now he makes complete sense, I think. <laughs> He's just a little funny putting him together. We don't have to use the belly. So I dike it out an extra tummy for him. But we technically we don't need to use it. We're going to go ahead and add a little dot of glue to this banana and stick it under his right hand. Actually, we're going to stick it under his left hand <laughs> and then we're going to stick up, stick um, this banana under his, uh, that would be his right hand, right? <laughs> so they're ready to go. All we have to do is add foam squares behind this guy and then we can work on our um, background for our cards. For the background for our cards, I'm going to bring in, I'm not going to stamp any sentiments. We didn't do no stamping today, just die cutting. Um, but I'm using this Love You die. I don't. It's from MFT, and I'm not sure if they still have it. Um, if they do, it'll be listed below. But um, it's very large, Love You, and I'm I'm gonna die cut this out of a piece of red card stock. Um, it measures four and a quarter inches by four and a quarter inches. Okay, and I'm gonna use the positive Love You pieces and the negative pieces. Um, I want to bring out the yellow from the bananas. So I'm bringing in some pattern paper. This is from MFT. It's the proper pinstripes. I'm going to cut a very thin strip of this yellow and white stripe paper. And then um, this is going to go glue. I was going to trim down a piece for my second card. And I thought well, we're going to do one card at a time. Okay, we're going to add some glue to the very top of our love you piece. And then I'm going to add that thin um, striped paper to the very top. I need the center of the O's, so I'm just going to go ahead and put the rest of those letters away. But um, we're going to adhere our pinstripe and then the excess overhanging will trim off. Now the background behind my Love You, I wanted it to stand out, but I wanted it to have a little bit of texture. First we're going to add foam adhesive behind this panel and set that aside. Okay. 
So I have a piece of white cardstock and then a double stitched rectangle die. I'm going to die cut out a panel that measures four inches by five and a quarter. And then after this is die cut out, I'm going to take a circle die and die cut out a window in this panel. And I'm going to offset this to the right just slightly. So I have a little piece of that border cut out. So after we have this done, I'm going to take a panel that's four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And then that circle one we just cut out and we're going to do some embossing with my embossing folders. I was looking for my polka dotted one, but it, I can't find it. So this one is going to um, work just as fine. This is, I call this my Cheerios <laughs> embossing folder. It has a lot of circles that have um, circles in the center. But I'm going to die cut out, or not die cut, I'm going to emboss both of these panels so they have that embossed detail. We're going to work with this one first. I thought this would look great behind my Love You that we have all that foam tape ad 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 um, adhered to. Okay, I ran out of my pre-scored and folded card bases. Usually I do it every Saturday. I'll score some card bases and trim my paper. I didn't get to it this Saturday. <laughs> so I'm doing that now. I just scored it five and a half inches and reinforced that score line. Okay, this panel is going to go directly in front of my card base. So what we're going to do is adhere our Love You to our embossed panel. And then we're going to go ahead and add our panel to our card base, which is a little too big. So I trimmed off a little bit so my front panel would fit perfectly. Okay, and that looks great. So we have a little bit of dimension and texture on our card. Now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna double up on the foam adhesive on the top portion of my little monkey. And then um, the bottom will just remove the release paper, add this little guy, and I think he looks so cute. <laughs> I think this would be a great masculine Valentine too. We have a, we have lots of bananas left over, and so I'm going to do a little um, banana placing. We're going to pop this one up and put this right next to our little guy's head, and then um, our third banana we're going to put over the U. I was trying to do a little tucking, but it wasn't flowing right. I guess because they're they're. They're both long, and I think that's going to work out just fine. <laughs> so cute. So that card's ready. Now we're going to work on our background panel for our next guy. I'm going to go ahead and take some of that striped paper, that yellow striped paper, and trim down a piece to fit behind my circle here. And then we're going to go ahead and add foam adhesive or tape runner behind it. And then I'm going to line it up behind my circle so that right edge is um, edge to edge basically and this way I can center it directly on my card base and then I can flip this over and add foam adhesive behind it. We'll go ahead and adhere this to our card base and then this one has a lot of dimension also. Okay now for this card we're going to use the love you pieces and I'm going to um, place my monkey where I want him to go and then I'm going to take a very thin strip of foam adhesive and then we're going to place um, foam tape behind each one of the letters and then I'm going to spell out love you um, on the inside of that circle. Now as I did this um, I kind of ran out of room. <laughs> um, I tried to squeeze the Y and the O and the U in here but I think it just looked too crowded. I think um, I think you would probably agree there's just too much. So the nice thing about Love You is you can just use the U. So that's what we're going to do. We're, we don't need the Y or the O. I'm going to remove the release paper off of my U and tack that down, which wasn't flowing. I need to double it up. So I'll cut another thin strip of foam tape, um, double up on that top portion, add one piece on the very bottom of my U, and then we can place that back in the window. And I think this is a little bit more proportioned. <laughs> Especially when my monkey's um, bottom heavy. Lovely. Okay. I think he looks great. We need to add one more foam a square behind the top of our monkey or behind our monkey's head here because he's going to, um, his head's going to be inside that circle. So we have to do this to make sure that everything's nice and even. And I'm just trying to place him so you can actually see the word love you. We'll scoot him down a bit. 
Okay, now we have some more bananas left over. We're gonna add a couple. I thought we would add one um, to the inside of his tail. <laughs> I thought that would be cute. Kind of pulling out that yellow there a little bit. And then we have, um, I thought about putting one more down there, but I think three is good. So the last two we'll put on the inside of the card. Okay, we're gonna grab our other card and then we're gonna add some bells and whistles. Um, we're gonna use some Pretty Pink Posh's Sparkling Clear Sequins. I'm just adding a few here and there. And I chose white just because I want, it's, there's a lot going on, so I thought white would add just the right amount of sparkle. After we have our sequins adhered, we're gonna go in with our Nouveau Aqua Shimmer Pen and add a little sparkle to all those bananas. And then those are my little monkey valentines, guys. I did leave the cleanup today. Um, it's at the, uh, it's just after the close-up pictures. And it, or if you want to see still shots too, guys, you can visit my blog. Um, but I thank you so much for joining me. I'll play a little music while I clean up. And um, thanks so much for stopping by. Have a fantastic day. We will see you again soon. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.